The plan was to build an autonomous RC car. Version 1 should mostly focus on the hardware, but to quickly get some AI working, I wanted it to be able to navigate a simple course by itself. The RC car that I had laying around was an Arma Outcast 4S. The components that I wanted the system to have were the Jetson Nano, camera module, WLAN adapter and a GPS module. I could have made things easier and just bought a servo driver to control the RC car, but I decided to build my own custom board. I used an Arduino Nano as the main component. It connects to the Jetson Nano via I2C. The RC controller board works with different modes, which can be changed by the Jetson Nano. In RC mode the controller simply passes through the control signals it reads from the receiver. In AI mode the host can send control signals for steering and throttle. This mode can be interrupted at any point by breaking on the radio control, in case the AI wants to run away. In addition, the board can control the motor fan speed depending on the motor temperature. With the platform built it was time for some AI. The idea was to take a single convolutional neural network and give it the camera image and speed from the GPS. The output is a prediction for the throttle and steering signals, similar to my GTA driver project from a few years ago. For simplicity I let it output the signal pulse widths for the RC servos directly. The pulse nominally ranges from 1000 to 2000 microseconds, with 1500 being the center pulse. I recorded myself driving lots of different tracks. In the end I had about 28,000 frames of actual driving recorded at 15 frames per second which translates to about 30 minutes. By flipping each image plus adjusting its respective steering value, I had a total of about 60 minutes of driving. Some lessons learned. Seems obvious but make sure you have the same pipeline for recording data and inference, because they need to have a similar latency and never put an SSD next to a GPS sensor. I had to debug for a week and a half why I supposedly kept killing my GPS modules until I found out that the signal gets blocked by the SSD that I'd taped to the side for data recording. 